Did you know there is a secret graphics mode in SOLIDWORKS called RealView Graphics that's not enabled by default? What's more frustrating is people spend hours trying to get this to work and just leads to frustration. Well, you have come to the right video because I'm going to show you a step-by-step -step guide on how to enable RealView Graphics in SOLIDWORKS as simple as possible. So here we are in SOLIDWORKS 2024. This is the version I have currently, and this should work on pretty much any version of SOLIDWORKS. So 20, 2021, 2022, 2023, and of course, in my case, 2024. When you're in SOLIDWORKS, when you go up to the top here, you'll have a view settings, and here you have a few options for just changing the graphic style that's presented in SOLIDWORKS. So you have a shadows in shaded mode, which just adds a bit of a shadowed ground plane. There is an ambient occlusion, and there is also a perspective. Plus there's also a cartoon mode, which gives it a bit of a more cartoony look, but I don't really use that very often. What you will notice is there isn't anything called real view graphics. And that's because if we go over to view and display, you will see it here, real view graphics, but it's grayed out. So by default, it's not enabled. And the annoying thing is we have to go into the registry editor to apply some keys to allow it to be enabled. It's not a difficult process. If you just follow along this guide, it'll be no problem. Before we go further, I want to just explain that this is a do at your own risk sort of tutorial. We do have to play around with the registry editor in Windows. It's not going to break anything. Most, most likely it's not going to break anything, but just uh, to protect myself, do this at your own risk. But the reality is everything should be fine. It's either going to work for you or it's not going to work and it's not going to do anything. So you might as well give it a shot. And a couple of other prerequisites before we get started. This will work on Windows machines, so either Windows 10 or Windows 11. And it will also, most importantly, only work on computers with an NVIDIA graphics card. It can't be a Radeon graphics card. It can't be an Intel graphics card. It needs to be NVIDIA. So with that out of the way, the first thing we need to do is close SOLIDWORKS. So simply close your SOLIDWORKS. And then we need to go to the registry editor. And we can do this by going to the Windows key and just typing in regedit and then hitting enter to open that. And you should be looking at something like this. And it may be a bit daunting, but don't worry, it's fairly simple. So follow along here. This is the important part so we can get the information we need and create the key that we need in the registry editor. So what you want to do is you want to go to this one here, H key current user and expand that out. Then you want to go down to software and expand that out. Then you'll want to go down to SOLIDWORKS and then go down and expand the allow list. And finally, we want to go down to current because it is in current that we need to find the renderer. And this will give us our name of the graphics card that you have. And as I explained earlier, I have an RTX 3080, so you can see it is here. So we want to double click on that and just copy this value. So control C. Second step. There's only two steps to this, this step and then the second step. So the second step is while we're still in registry editor, we want to go to the, I think it's GI2 shaders and then the NV40. And we want to right click on NV40 and go to new key. And this should create a new folder. And then we can control V to paste that data that we copied before. So we should have a folder here which will relate to whatever your graphics card is. In my case, RTX 3080 PCI Express. Now in here, we can go new D word 32 bit value. And we want to call this work arounds. Hit enter and then double click on that. And we want to change the value to 31 for 80. Now, if it doesn't work, you can try a few variants. So we could start SOLIDWORKS and see if it works. If it doesn't work, close SOLIDWORKS, keep registry open in the background so you can just go to it easily. And we'll just go to workarounds, double click on it. And this time you'd go 30, 480. Or you might do 3, 2, 480. But that's the only ones I'll try. Start with 31, 480, then maybe 30, 480 and 32, 480. But it should work on 31, 480. So that's all we need to do. Just those two steps. Copy our graphics card, create the folder, create the D word, call it workarounds, and then put in the key 31480. And then we can start SOLIDWORKS. Once SOLIDWORKS is open, you can just reopen a part or an assembly. And it may look like nothing has changed, but then if we go here, you should see that real view graphics is an option in our view settings. And if you go over to view display, 
you should also see real view graphics can be enabled there. So what is it? Let's take a look. That's actually enabled it. And you can see it just gives it a bit more of a rendered look. So it gives it a bit of a reflective surface um, and you can play around with this. So I might turn off the shadows and shadowed mode. I want to turn on the ambient occlusion so it allows for ambient occlusion as well. Perspective is good when doing a little rendered shot and cartoon mode, honestly, I never use it. So there you go. That is RealView graphics enabled on SolidWorks 2024. Now, why would you want to use RealView graphics? Some people may want to just work in this environment. It may be better on their eyes or something or help them visualize things a bit better. Just be aware it may tax the performance of your system a little bit more, especially if it's a large assembly or a large part. You may not want it enabled for that. The reason why I use it is what I like to do is just take a screenshot. That way I don't have to take this model into something like Keyshot and try and render it and take more time. Maybe I just need a quick, dirty render. I can just enable real view graphics like this, uh, whether I want the shadows on or not, and then go into an isometric with my perspective on. And then just by doing Control Shift S, just take a screenshot of this and open it up and there we have a quick little render and i don't have to put too much effort into it that's the main thing and that's it hopefully now you have real view graphics enabled too if you have found value in this video then please consider liking the video and subscribing to the channel if you're new to solidworks then you may want to also check out my beginner series here it's a bit older content but there's plenty of value in there for new users to solidworks or for something more recent, you may want to check out this video, which is one I did on Prome AI, an AI image generation platform, which is really helping my design work lately. Until next time, thanks for watching. Damn, those are some sweet graphics.